record number of delegates have come to the Asian Financial Forum 2011 from Canada. And leading that delegation is Ian Russell. Ian, thanks indeed for joining us. Now, looking at the numbers that you've got here, I think it's about 79 delegates. Why come to the Asian Financial Forum this year? Well, they've come to the AFF, uh, Martin, to uh, gain information and insights uh, in what's happening in Asia, which is really the... Uh, I think underlying purpose of the AFF. Um, we've got a wide cross-section of delegates to the conference. Um, some of them come from the financial community, others from the resource community in Canada, and they come for a whole range of reasons uh, fundamentally. I think they're coming here to uh, seek out investment opportunities in Asia, and particularly in mainland China. They're coming here to tap sources of capital, some of them are coming here to see if they can develop business in China. So a lot of reasons uh, in a very complex environment at a complex time. And um, I think the AFF uh, provides a, a wonderful forum for uh, Canadians to uh, better understand Asia and help them make their business decisions here. So many of those delegates represent mining and other resources. Now I think they're looking for uh, Again, opportunities um, to, uh, for plays, resource plays in China. Um, Canadian firms, even mid-sized firms, have proven to be pretty effective um, in uh, project management. And uh, so they're looking for those opportunities in China. But as well, the Canadian resource industry, particularly mining and energy to a lesser extent, is global by nature. They're looking for capital um, to... Uh, and, and in this sense, Chinese capital to, uh, to help them or propel their businesses uh, globally, as well as back in Canada. And uh, I think they, they recognize that uh, the Chinese uh, themselves, um, both the corporate sector and government, are looking for uh, investment opportunities. And I think the Canadian resource sector offers a lot uh, for them. So it's both to tap into investment opportunities and to tap into capital and to build businesses again in, uh, in, uh, in, in China. So does it mean really that China is going to be pushing on with industrial expansion, with growth? Is that going to make a difference where it comes to the sort of investment in resources that we're talking about? Well, if you're thinking in the resource sector in, in particular? Sector. Um, yeah, I, th I think it will be a more difficult uh, year in terms of uh, finding those opportunities um, within China itself. But I think, um, you know, Hong Kong offers uh, the opportunity for these companies to tap into sources of capital. It may be from China, but it may be from elsewhere in Southeast Asia. One thing that Hong Kong is proving itself to be is a real entrepot for capital. So a lot of capital can be sourced here um, for global purposes. and. Uh, it's, it's also an opportunity to uh, look for investments uh, here in, in, through Hong Kong. So is that the same reason why investment fund companies in Canada are really looking to Asia as well? And again, it's two-way flow, but we've got uh, at least two very large uh, uh, government and private pension funds here that are mixed. We've got the CPP, which is, uh, manages the uh, Canada Pension Plan. Uh, they're here, they have an office in uh, Hong Kong. We also, uh, there's also Greystone Capital, which manages provincial retirement money, but also it's about $35 billion in, uh, in assets. This is uh, Greystone, and they are investing um, private money. So they're here to seek out, again, investment opportunities, uh, stocks, bonds. Um, it may be uh, in Hong Kong dollars, uh, listed equities, it may be in renminbi uh, debt as well. Um, and the flip side of that is they're seeking out Chinese capital that might be interested in investing with them. Um, they're mainly uh, focused on the Canadian marketplace, um, but some of their investments are global as well. So um, I think that's one of the reasons why uh, Greystone are here, uh, seeking to do business with um, Chinese investors. Um, but again, looking for investment opportunity and no better place to do it than um, Hong Kong and to attend a forum like the AFF, the Asian Financial Forum, which is turning in, I think, uh, Jack So, who said it the best, he said this is the premier um, conference uh, in, uh, in Asia. And it's a conference for ideas, connections, networking, uh, which is absolutely critically important if you want to do business in Asia.
You talked about the renminbi, and that seems to have gone from really a non-issue to a really important issue in a matter of 12 months. How important, though, is it to investors in Canada? I think the attraction is particularly of interest from an investment angle. In other words, longer-term bonds um, that are renminbi denominated, um, the outlook is very positive because the prospect is for appreciation or revaluation in the renminbi, so it's a good currency uh, to hold. Um, the problem is more of one of uh, convertibility in the short run and liquidity. But I think um, it's a gradual growing process, but uh, it's attracted a lot of interest. And I think uh, renminbi denominated uh, longer term debt offerings are going to be attractive to uh, Canadian investors. Given that you've got all these delegates coming to Hong Kong to attend the Asian Financial Forum, do many of them think of setting up in Hong Kong? Well, I think that would be a mistake if they didn't. I think a lot of um, particularly in our financial sector, um, uh, to set up, be it uh, a listening post, but on a more permanent basis, particularly if you want to build a business in, uh, in China, whether you want to uh, uh, seek out uh, investment opportunities, and that's principally what it's about, but also if you want to tap capital and eventually move into China. For example, one of the features of this conference is the way the Chinese economy is shifting from an export-driven one to a consumer service economy, that's lots of opportunities for Canadian business. Now, I think, to answer your question, I think it becomes uh, uh, really important to at least have an outpost here in Hong Kong to get a, a better lay of the land, so to speak, to understand uh, the marketplace and the businesses that you want to get into. No better place than doing it in Hong Kong. And Ian, you've come this year, 2011, you've come before. What's your impression of the Asian Financial Forum this year? Oh, I think this one, this one is the best one that I've been at. I think partly because it's brought some uh, uh, people of real stature uh, from the mainland here to speak. Um, there have been some great sessions today. The Asian Financial Forum has grown, I think, uh, dramatically in the four years that it's been here. And it's just getting better and better with the diversity of uh, participants, the diversity of delegates and uh, the diversity of the program that's being offered.